Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play the Dungeon of Nahalabak. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 34. We have to go confront Zangdar. I tried to find a rope all over the place. Went to every vendor that I could find and I could not find rope. So I can't solve the puzzle that is over here in this door. I can't, can't do it. Um, no chance to solve that puzzle so but I did go and buy a bunch of gear for my people I spent a bunch of money you can see I'm down to 3,000 and I had like 27 or something like that uh, but a bunch bought a bunch of gear the, the thief had a whole bunch of gear laying around that is it for some uh, reason it popped some kind of achievement when you bought him all this gear so everybody's got a bunch of gold gear now which is nice it says Zangdar's private apartment Get the hell out, or be ground into morseling feed. <laughs> we could go in now. We found out enough to be able to f up that shitty warlock. Come on, time has come for us to face Zangdar and seize the statuette of Gladilicha. Actually, it's Gladilfura. Let the glaive of justice come down on this <laughs> accursed warlock's head. We go in, curb stomp his face, and finish the job. Evil warlocks deserve only death. Come on, thief, do your thing. Open the door. I shall. He says he has a bad feeling about this again. Trust me, Ogre. I'm right there with you. Save air so I don't have to go through that part again. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Well, I was beginning to wonder if you would ever get here. Zagdar, you're a dead dog! He's not very fuzzy for a dog. One step closer and you die. Well, we're here for the twelfth statue of Gagaga. Did he good get a get uh. Glad old Fura. Yeah, right, the twelfth statue out of what she said. Give it to us. Come and get it, you pitiful, arrogant chair stuffer. You're powerless before me. Ha! But I've expelled the beans. Yes, we didn't even have to hit him first. Makes no difference. I'll slaughter you now, and then I'll have you restuffed. You had it coming, Zangar! Uh, this can't be right. <laughs> okay, objective defeat Zangdar. Every turn, the active character and all allies next to them play music. The active character and all uh, diagonally adjacent characters don't count. Music gradually weakens Zangdar's invulnerability sphere. Zangdar will renew it during his turn if it's destroyed. Zangdar can't attack if he's in the sphere. Every turn, the active character and allies next to them play music. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Hmm. My paladin friend. Let's see if I end up understanding how this works then. <laughs> Zangdar! I will protect myself in a sphere of invulnerability. Okay. He's probably going to summon something every turn, isn't he? Attack! I am Zangdar. Scared. My paladin is scared. Really? She gets scared of nothing. Okay. So he's the active character. Then what? What's this guy? He's protection 20, dodge 10, physical resistance 100%. Oh my goodness. Okay. Huh. Oh, I see. Every turn, the active character. So who's going to go next? She is. 
you're gonna want people next to her. <laughs> I see how this is gonna work. Now she's the active character, and she and him are gonna send. But he's got, yeah. And so now he's protected a little bit. And that helped crack it. So who's next? The barbarian is. So if I put her next to him. I see. Or I could have put her behind him. This thing has magic resistance 84. It's not like she's going to be able to do great shakes to it. Um, who's it going to come after is the question. Because it's going to be what? Him, then the paladin who's all by herself. So she's not going to get a chance to crack anything. going to be the most valuable thing here because on his turn yeah you got to think about this ahead of time don't you what's going to be the most valuable thing with that magic resistance you got zero chance I need I need attacks that can reduce protection magic resistance physical resistance dodge anything like that Targets have 50% of being frozen. Targets start burning. Destroys destructible objects. There's nothing over there to destroy with that. Pushes a target. Sindar, you're a disgrace to magic. Targets have a 50% chance of being stunned. I don't think that's going to happen to that golem. I think the thing to do with her is just going to be put her defensive. Let's see what he does. He's got three attacks. He's going to overcharge and then he's going to do AoE. Yep, okay. So we're all going to have to move. But he's kind of behind that wall, so it doesn't really help. Okay, in that case... And I can't attack him because he's invulnerable, so I'm just going to go defensive. She's by herself. It's too far away to do any good. It's blocked by the thing. Now, I can instantly teleport one current character to a tile of my choice. Um, I don't think that's a smart move. So I'm just going to move her. I smell loot. We're almost there. Oh boy, brother, don't even. These two are gonna sing, but there's. Oh, yeah, the wall is blocking. So the most important thing is gonna be. We gotta get as many people around Zangar as we can. Lock this guy in, I think. He's going to sing by himself, but he's protected again. He's behind that cabinet, so it's not a big deal. And he can't attack while he's in there. My charisma is way higher than his is. <laughs> Who's going to move early? He is, and she is, and then the Barbarian. So you want to be next to the Barbarian. Because the Barbarian's going to get a chance to crack this thing open here. Oh, and she actually hit him. That's kind of a minor miracle.
Barbarian's going to get a chance and he's going to get people behind him. So, you should do... Uh, slash tendons ain't going to work. Just shoot this thing. It's got 600 hit points. It's not like... Yeah. It's not like you're going to do a whole Zongar lot there. Zongar is coming for you. <laughs> oh, so now we get reinforcements? Okay. Invulnerable. Mediocre. Did you not hit him? Okay. She's going to have to move. Where do you want to be? What do we have coming through the door? Goblins. Okay. Side. I think this thing is going to turn on our friend the barbarian next so I might be wrong about that he's got to do his AOE spell and then is he gets three moves so yeah he gets a chance to do something So that causes a little bit of a problem. So, Barbarian Pounce. Took a lot of hit points. I'm going to use this. I want him to take the three swing. Okay, good job, dude. She's got a move here. Paladin charges forward. So what is it? I got to go diagonal. She has to be right there. Her next to the barbarian. Oh, I don't really want you. Uh, I don't want you to get smacked by that guy, but I can't help it. I, you got hitting Zangdar is the most important thing. So this guy's going to get an attack of opportunity, and that's certainly going to hurt. But earthquake destroys destructible objects. Not as big of a deal. A pair of slaps. That do 48 to 60. What's this hammer do? There's a chance to do 2 damage, but I don't, I don't want to hit my own guys with it. So, all I can really do here is smack the crap out of Zangar. Justice and barbecue! This guy can come around here. Zangar is going to... We don't have to be adjacent to each other right now because he doesn't have the thing up. So, what is this? He's got dodge 10, protection 8. Oh, man. It looks like he's immune to that because it's not showing the thing. So... Hmm. Yeah, he's not going to get pushed. I think all you can do is this, buddy. Physical resistance. You have a chance here.
Okay, he's gonna want to move, so aim for the heel slash tendon him. And then can you? Okay, and that that because that was his move. All she can really do. Well, not necessarily. Instantly teleport a character to a tile of your choice. Right there. Spin this. Because it's a massive shot that does a whole bunch of damage. Zangar is inviting all of his friends to come in here. Uh, I hate spiders. Yeah. Now is he going to cast his spell? Oh, no, he's going to try to freeze all of us. Which he did. And now what's he doing? Cast his spell. Man, if those guys wouldn't have been frozen, the attacks of opportunity would have been great. <laughs> and now he's got the globe back up. Okay. And that misses, of course. So. Let's see. Also cures targets from burning and poison, but that doesn't do much. We need everybody as close as we can get. in view of him so we can kill his target again. And then let's see. Best thing to do here probably. What small green and is about to die. And then he's got 199 hit points in here. Let's do this. Let's see. She needs to be way over here, doesn't she? What's he gonna do? Spin? No, nope, he's just gonna attack him. Okay. Then he's got two moves, so he's gonna attack her. I'm guessing if we defeat Zangar like the previous fight with Losax, if we defeat Zangar, all these other things are gonna become stuff we don't have to worry about fighting, so. That's going to be my, my guess. We're going to see about that. I really need my guys to not be frozen, though. Mm. Nope, you're not hitting him there, sister. There's no way to get around that either, is there? I don't want to fight him. It's not what I want to fight. Ah. That hurt. Well, I drank it. What to do? Yeah. Is that going to help melt my guys? No? Oh, it should. That's a rat's. That helped. Oh, you're tied down. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, in that case...
In that case, man, he's gonna backstab my door. That way. Oh, come on, sister. I need to get her next to these guys, don't I? It's more important that she be able to whistle or do whatever that is. The, yeah, you gotta heal the barbarian. care about stabbing this guy, but but I don't see anything better for him to do unless there's somebody he can heal. He could heal her. She's at, uh, how much do these heal? 90 heal. That'd be a waste right now. Let's just poison this thing. The venomous. Oh, we can't do it. Okay. And I'm sure his ranged attack to immobilize this thing, its magic resistance is 84, would not happen. That thing's magic resistance is 27. I don't think it's a big deal to immobilize that. I think your best chance, best thing you can do this turn is just, no, I didn't see it parried him anyways. You gonna move now, my friend? It's like, yep. But now the trick is Okay, so if I move in here If I move him there and then move him like right here Almost, One but goblin, not quite. Fine. A hundred goblins, trouble. Tough it out. Very interesting little fight mechanic here. He can't do anything, he's going to try to move. He can't cast a spell, he's inside that thing. No good, sister. Who's next to sing? The paladin? Didn't like her. Spiders. Oh yeah, they're gonna poison. Oh no, he's gonna try to web everybody. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's there, but it's not there. Okay. Ah, find some easy adversaries. I think. Huh. What do I want to do with her? Heal her, maybe. He's got a bomb. You, my friend. Ah, 
Uh, I can't get around him. I can't. Okay. In that case, I'm just not going to worry about it. <laughs> Yep, I got a luga lugu. That's a weird sound. The dwarf. The dwarf has an attack that charges forward, and it's a pretty good charge. It's four diagonals, so one, two, three. He'd need to be right there to do it. Push your target back. If you can push him back, he only gets one person. Hmm. What do I want to do? He's got to be near. Who's going to get a sing next? She is. And who's going to get an act next? That goblin. I'm going to face him towards that goblin. And I'm going to put him in a defensive pose. And she actually can. Don't even think about it. Still not friends. Okay, where is he? He's right there. Sister. You got really good stuff. Slash tendons of him would be pretty good. He's stuck, isn't he? Okay. You can't you can't get him. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. And you can't can you shoot him from there? No? Oh man. And I can't hold your turn. You have to do something this turn. Hmm. I'm just gonna go you into stealth mode. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go into stealth mode in my turn. What's he gonna do now? Is he gonna. Oh. And he's back on it. So it's like a free action for him. It's like a free action for him. Who gets to go next? The barbarian? Okay, who has points? You need points. can't move so freeze both of those turkeys if you can no freezing all right someone's gonna have to revive her somebody's job to get her back up oh and he's gonna do the old ticking time by me okay and boom like my hood huh <laughs> okay you gonna try to poison her what are you doing <laughs> Okay. That's pretty good. Um, and the 
paladin's gonna go next, and where is she? Right there. So you don't count. For the paladin. You don't count for the paladin. So I'm gonna put you right there. And then I'm just going to defensive you. Paladin is gonna get two people along with her. And apparently they failed those hits. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, in that case, well, here he is. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Fireworks. Can the ogre on his own do anything over here with the music? How funny. Made him crunch. Oh, and I don't have... Hmm. don't have anything else to help heal him. And then I'm just going to take this potion, I guess. You've got no more potions either. So, can you just put this thing on the on the ground? It dodged it. Okay. Could have been slick as a bar of soap. But you weren't. Um. Don't stand so close to me. I needed to get over there. Oh. Wow, she's gonna be. Can you sing? Does, is that missing? Is that what's happening? Is it's missing? It's not hitting the character? of opportunity but you guys couldn't get his his shell down so hmm that that this bookcase here has been a serious detriment to this fight <laughs> <laughs> it's, I feel, and, and then the other thing is they're singing and they're sending the, the thing out, but they're sending the projectile out, but it's not hitting him. Even when it's they got clear line of sight, so apparently you have to roll to hit. I don't like that. Like there's already enough. Here's what I don't like. There's already enough difficulty with the obstruction of this thing here that he's been hiding behind the whole time. There's already been enough of that. So, to get his shield down has been a major pain in the butt anyways. I don't need my characters also missing rolls and then she's gonna get hit again. So all the slick as a bar of soap stuff doesn't matter. Yeah, like... 
one of those missed. One of those missed. And every single attack of opportunity hits. So what has he got? He's got hit points. I should have waited to move the barbarian. See, look, both of those hit it, but then nothing happened. Wait your turn. I know. That's that's making it harder than it needs to be. And and so Slick is a bar soap girl who had tons of dodges in the middle part of this game. It's just getting annihilated. And how many how many backstab hits have we missed when characters have dodged them? Like a lot, right? That's a weird sound. Yeah, it's a weird sound, but it's not helping anybody. It's like who still has left to go? Paladin, where is she? Somehow he missed that. Palin's gonna get a chance to to sing here soon, so you might as well do that. He's gonna turn on my barbarian, or he's gonna backstab the ranger. Yes. And, the, and the ranger dodged. Hmm. No, no. And he hit him, be. so that's nice. <laughs> Okay, can you get... You can't get around there and get that guy, can you? Okay, but what if... I don't want to be out of the way of you. What if I do that? Can you hit him with the crossbow? How many hit points has he got left? Like, almost nothing. He's got 65. Ignores protection. I'll open the can with a crowbar. Ignores protection. All right, I have no idea what's going to happen after this, so we better heal everybody. Heal, heal everyone. Take all. Oh, we got healing potions out. That's awesome. All right, all right. Take the f***ing statuette already. <laughs> it's in the closet with all the others. The other statuettes? I've got the last statuette of Zminoff, the statuette of Riro Kumingro, the cursed idol of which why to go temple. <laughs> There's a copy of every prophesized statuette. Of course, it's to keep all you adventurers coming. I mean, I gotta make a living. <laughs> Gladilfora, it's the green one. Wait. No waiting. Shut up. Uh, again with the bad feeling? Here on the statue. Uh. Oh! <laughs> oh, well. What is that? <laughs> oh, shit. That seems like it was a major fail. Oh, he just took a Mass Rock's clapter on the chin. Uh. Where's the thief? He's the small pile of action in front of the closet. Does that mean he's dead? Mm. Poor fella. He was burned to the 28th degree. That'll teach him not to be a smartass. After all our adventures, after all this time traveling together across the dungeon, and he vanishes just like that? Oh, here comes the whining again. Zangar, this is your fault. No, it's not. I tried to warn you, but you didn't listen. You'll pay for this. Not so fast, dear and improbable friends. Oh. The moron from before? There'll be no more killing. <laughs> what do you want now? My job is to restore a stable timeline, one that's as close as possible to what would have happened without Losax. So, there's a couple of things to fix. Do you want to resurrect the thief? 
Not really. His passing is actually rather helpful to us. On the other hand, you've leveled up way too much. Oh, jeez. We've been putting out fires all over the dungeon. Yeah, and they even guessed socks. We've killed monsters. It doesn't matter. All of this is the result of a time loop that is illegal according to the rules of level progression for adventurers. It's comparable to a game exploit. Thus, I have to roll you back. What? Now go f yourself. Bullshit. This is scandalous. Besides, you have way too much gold in magic items. If he touches my gold, he's gold breakfast. I can't move anymore. Oh, shit. It's those wizards. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but what? What are you doing here? It has been brought to our attention that we're debtors to the dungeon's fund. Something about royalties left unpaid for a few decades. 800,000 gold coins worth. The dungeon's fund has us by the balls. It's not personal. I could give you the flowery version of this, but I don't have it in me. So, if we refuse to help him, no more cheese. Not a tough choice to make. Couldn't we throw them in one of my holes? <laughs> don't be a smartass. They still saved you, then bested you in a fair fight. They'll leave with the statuette. Uh, I'll get my revenge, and it will be brutal. Good. And for good measure, I'll make everyone forget it all happened. A good old memory wipe spell, and this regrettable adventure will sink into oblivion. You mean sink into the elf's empty skull? Rock picker! Let us face it. Remember, I'm the one who guessed socks. Ah, oh, it's finally over. By the way, if we could also wipe the player's memories, we'd improve the replay value, right? Awesome. I'll call marketing right away. Still, I'm the one who guessed socks. Hey, socks! Socks! Fuck me. Socks! SOCS! SOX! Socks. <laughs> Socks. <laughs> and there it is. Achievements unlocked. Well, <laughs> I feel a great amount of satisfaction at finally having completed that. Oh, man. Oh, I love watching credits roll in video games. There's a, there's a great sense of accomplishment from watching credits roll, knowing that you finally beat a game, especially one like this, which was simultaneously really fun and really frustrating at the same time. Um, I have to give the developers a lot of credit. They made a really great game. These get Artifact Studios. This is great. Game co-directors, technical directors, art. Uh, I thought they did a fantastic job with this. I love the art design. I loved everything about that, the art, I love the characters, it gave me that throwback feeling of playing Gauntlet in, an, in a top-down table arcade way back in the day. That was a really unique uh, console, I'm not console, I guess, um, the arcade shell for it. You know, most arcade games were stand-up, and you went up there and it had like a little controller on it and some buttons, but Gauntlet was a table top with a glass tabletop and there were four controllers positioned at the four four sides and and sometimes just being able to get in on a game with with anybody that, god there'd be four people playing and people to have stacks of quarters or tokens and if you wanted to get in and play it, it could be really hard and <laughs> it was a great game it was a great game for its time it was fantastic and this had that same kind of memory you know it was like here are these predetermined classes lot of party banter really funny I thought it was a this is by far the funniest video game I've ever played I thought the humor was perfect I thought it was really well done obviously I have I have some problems with some of the fights just seeming unfair and overly difficult uh, I don't think that the the randomia thing in the lower left hand corner I don't think that made up for the number of times that you fail um, at critical failures. I mean, one fight with four critical failures in it? Come on. You know, there's... And I don't know. It just... I mean, turn, turn-based turn games can be already difficult on their own. Thanks to the random number generator and all that kind of stuff. So... It just felt cruel on top of that. Now, I get it. Role-playing-wise and story-wise, it made sense. The God of Fail. Tough luck. Yeah, I get it. You know, they, they wrote a really cool story around all those failures but it's still at times it just was really frustrating to play um, which you know you guys know from watching me play XCOM 
I have a frustrating time with some of that. Snipers basically not being very effective for it until the very end of the game. But all that said, I would still give this game a solid uh, 8 out of 10 on a, on a scoring scale. Maybe a 9 out of 10. I mean, saying that some of the fights seemed unfair and frustrating doesn't... I don't think that diminishes the overall quality of the game. When you look at the art and the level design and the story and the characters and the voice acting and the party banter and all that stuff, it was just so well done. And one thing that was really cool is sometimes turn-based games and real-time with pause role-playing games, sometimes they throw too many fights at you just, just to keep you busy, I guess. But most of the throughout this whole game it really felt like every fight most fights had a purpose um it, it didn't feel overwhelming and i kind of looked forward to every encounter hoping that there'd be something new and i really did i really did like that that last fight it was really cool that shell and trying to get that down uh, and realizing from the previous low sax fight that what you need to do is just focus on the one enemy and not anybody else those, that, that kind of strategy still drives me a little bit nuts that game developers lean on it so much, but I did like the whole idea of the shell and the music and that way you had to position, having to position your party a certain way to help you throughout the fight, I thought was a pretty cool idea. Um, look at the thanks, that's probably going to be all the people who helped kickstart it or something. Uh, it, uh, was this a kickstarter game? I can't remember. I'm just really impressed. I'm really impressed with the game. I like turn-based games. It's still my favorite style of game to play because I like the chance that I can slow down a little bit and be a little more thoughtful with my approach and my attacks and my skills. Um, I'm not. I'm trying to finish Doom 2016 right now, and I'm just terrible at those kinds of games. So this was really, really cool to see the art. The art of this game. It's not campy, but it's not super hyper-realistic. It's that perfect in-between of it's got a little bit of a cartoon influence to it. Uh, it's a little bit whimsical. It's really fun. I just thought they did a great job. I thought they did a great job with this. I think this is a fantastic game. I think anybody who's into turn-based games should get it. I think you should buy it and play it and have a good time. Um, my frustrations aside, I, I think it's fantastic. That would be my final verdict. Is I can I can forget the frustrations pretty quickly, but the good parts of this game I'm going to remember for a long time. Uh, and I think someday I might have to just roll through it again and just play it for fun and not worry about doing a video for it. Because there are certain things you try to do when you're doing a video. You try. I tend not to look in every nook and cranny. I tend not to. I, I want to push the video forward for my viewers so that you guys aren't bored. But this, yeah, fun, great game. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, if you dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe. If you have a question or comment or a thought about the Dungeon of Naha Block, leave it down in the comments below. And sub subscribe to the channel. My Patreon's listed in the description below. Thank you, everyone, for going on this journey with me. Thank you for Artifact Studios for creating the game. Uh, fun. Just fun. That's And that's... For the most part, it was fun, and that's what I like video games to be. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.